Hello and welcome to the second part, or the second stage of the Let's Play for America McGee's Alice. And I am your loving host, Halloween, and with me is me, Naxon. Hello, Naxon. We will be co-hosting this video. Co-DJing. Yes, so DJ. Excellent. Yeah, well, we left our lovely psychotic girly at level two. That's not level two, I'm sorry. There it is. Pandemonium. Pandemonium. So, let's go. I do apologise for the loading screen. It's a bit longer than usual because of fraps, so you can blame them. Anyway, here we go. Sexy. Look at that. Here we can see some, obviously, lovely moving features on the wall. Oh yeah, I thought. Strings. Yeah, it's very nice, isn't it? Leg going around. <laughs> some nice features, though. Good damn it. I never make that bloody jump. <laughs> you always seem to miss it. I, I can't do it, right? Every time. What the fuck do you think he's smoking? <laughs> Who knows by the blackness of that thing coming out of the pipe? <laughs> God, you're scared for that, aren't you? Jesus. See, I've definitely watched too many dodgy flicks. So when she says I have nothing of value, I assume you go like, oh, well, <laughs> you look a bit nice, young lady. <laughs> I don't know. And that, it just seems like a sexual innuendo, you know? I don't yeah, know. It's, it's repay you the favour. Exactly, it's like, oh, I'll repay you my favour. It's like, no, do not want your favour. Oh, back at your mine again. <laughs> anyway, off we go. Here's the knife. I mean, you saw it last time, but we only got to kill one thing with it. We get to kill three things with it. Yes. More card guards. Exactly. It's very exciting stuff. And now we have the little ride demonstration that the um, designer set for us. You basically get to have a look around what they've built, and it's it's pretty nice actually, considering the time it was made in. It is. Dr what's that, Dreamcast era? Uh, 2000, and two 2000, 2001, around there. I think yeah, it yeah. It's very nice though, I mean... But especially, it, we, for those of you who completed the game, obviously you recognise the significance of the whole areas of the game, and you think, hmm, the Falling Rocks, I don't know, it brings to mind parts of the thing. I hate to be so secretive, but when we finish the game, we can maybe explain it a bit better. Yeah, if you come back to, to it, too much away yeah, in yeah. The early stages. Exactly, but it all makes sense. At the end, why it looks so weird, and the technical things will also be explained. They're not here just for like harassing young Japanese girls either. So, yes. <laughs> skull fashion accessory on Alistair, very pretty. Oh. Do you reckon Jack Thompson would have had a few things to say about that back in the day? <laughs> I'm right, we've come to the second weapon now, and these, to be perfectly truthful, for most things, are absolutely crap. Right, basically, these are just homing... think of homing missiles. But they're pretty weedy, and by, if you look on the right, it drains the blue bar extremely quickly for what they actually do. It takes bloody ages for them to die. The primary fire, as I just said, is homing, and the secondary fire is like, um, what do it's you reckon? like a shotgun, really. Yeah, a shotgun. A big blast. Flat cannon. Yeah. But except it's crap and doesn't do anything. Look, I've got run out of bloody willpower. Die. They're not particularly effective just yet. No, no. They're but a good filler for when you come to some of the harder enemies, like the Boojums, screaming at you. Oh, fuck those guys. <laughs> Oh, we'll have lots of fun with the Boojums later on. Yes, yes, sadly. There's being over 9,000 of them, which is always fun. Right, we've got the key for the um, King Goblin, Elder Goblin, Troll Elder. And now, we've got to go back to him and his lovely smouldering black pipe. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Whatever it is, Alice, don't accept it. Drugs are bad. Yeah, some more cards. Right, when we did this a minute ago, in our first try, they honestly couldn't kill anything, this. No, we weren't sure if the cars weren't hitting him, or if they were breaking up before they got there. But apparently now they're hitting, they seem to be hitting him. Oh, there we go, we got him, we got oh, him. Right between the eyes. Did it much better this time as well. Didn't have any accidents. Oh, 
Alright then, that's pretty much it for this level, so we'll just go for the door. And here's some more story for you. Rabbit's confidence is not misplaced. He is no fool. I certainly hope he is not. Use the key to free my clan from the oppressive burden they carry. Any fight against the Queen's tyranny is a good fight. They've suffered... I'm sure I'm very sorry for them, sir. Really, I am. But what about... What a bitch. Grumpy cow. Anyway, that's the end of that level, so we'll see you next time when we get another video together. In the Fortress of Doors. In the Fortress of Doors. Which is very, very good, by the way. I suggest sticking around to look. Ta-da!